Um, thanks very much, John. Um, so I'd like to talk about uh, mobile usability uh, for 10 minutes. Um, basically, I was going to suggest that um, when you're designing your app for mobile usability, you design it to be an extension of the user. Um, you make it really fast. And you create an app that speaks the user's language. This is um, getting back to what Bruce was saying about um, uh, stepping into a customer's shoes. So I'll go through each one of those three. The, uh, the CEO of AMC Movie Theaters um, said this uh, four years ago, which I thought was really funny. Uh, when you tell a 22-year-old to turn off the phone, don't ruin the movie, they hear, please cut off your left arm above the elbow. You can't tell a 22-year-old to turn off their cell phone. It's just not how they live their life. They see the phone as an extension of themselves, and so they're not going to turn it off in a movie because it's, it's part of them. And when you when you create an app, um, if you can design it in a way that feels like an extension of them, uh, it'll be a lot more fun to use. They'll be a lot more likely to use it. So how do you do that? How do you make it into an extension of them? Um, one important technique, I think, is to provide feedback. So whenever they tap anything on the screen, give them an instant animation. Let them know that you received um, their instruction and you're working on it. Um, those those animations should be really short, really fast. Don't let them wait for anything. Just give them really quick feedback that you understood what you asked for. And then put up a loading indicator or whatever uh, if it's needed. If it's going to take a while for the next page to come up. Something else you can do is to choose an animation that fits with the action that they're performing. So if there's an event arriving, maybe um, the element of the screen that represents the event could slide in. If there's an error, maybe the error could pulse once. Um, but choose animations that make sense given what's happening, rather than just fading in um, without like a clear link between the animation and what's actually happening. Okay. Um, so building a fast app. Speed is really important. It makes users use your application a lot more. Um, here's some good research. Google discovered um, that when they had their Google search results page, when they went from displaying 10 results on it to displaying 30 results on it, that decreased traffic and ad revenues by 20%. So the time it took to display the page only increased by half a second, but their traffic and ad revenue went down 20%. Um, that's pretty significant. It's just half a second difference. Um, so speed is really important. Something else that was interesting with that study was that the users were able to choose how many search results they had in the results page. <coughs> Excuse me. And so they were voluntarily saying, I want 30. I want more. It's more fun to get 30 results back. But then they were actually using the site less by 20%. So sometimes it's really important to measure what users are actually doing to get the real data so that you can make decisions based on that. Sometimes leaving it up to the users will result in them actually using the site less. So that's Another Google study um, found that, again, a close to a half second delay resulted in uh, less searches per user. And interestingly here, even after the speed went back up, the user still remembered that it was slow. And it took them a long time to get back to their earlier levels of usage of the product. So they remember something. And they, I'm um, sorry, they remember the slowdown. Um, and it takes a while for them to uh, to start using the site the way they were before. So it's really and just two other studies. Um, Amazon found that for every 100 milliseconds, so it's a tenth of a second, that the, um, the page takes to load, sales decreased by 1%. That's very high. And Yahoo similarly found that another half a second slower page. So between 5 to 9% users leave the page before it's finished loading. So focusing on speed is really important. Um, a fast app, fast pages, will allow users to experiment a lot more. They'll try things out, change some filter settings, go back and forward. Um, much more than if a page takes a long time to load, they'll be more reluctant to experiment with your page. 
And lastly, it's important to measure the app performance so that you can make decisions based on, on speed. Um, there's commercial software like Datadog, New Relic, Tomo, Google Analytics, they all measure different kinds of uh, an application's performance. Um, but uh, they can offer you really valuable insights. They um, you know, uh, come with charting of the performance measurements they take. And you can um, use A-B testing, which is when you have two versions of a product and you just see how customers like each one, see which one they spend more time in, um, and correlate that to the different levels of performance of speed. So you can see the effect of speed on how um, users use an application, so measurements from it. Okay, the last of the three. Um, creating an app that speaks to the user's language. So users are gonna have a way in mind a lot of the time on how they want to accomplish a particular task. And if you can design an app that fits with that, it'd be much easier for them to use. Um, this starts with vocabulary. So use text and phrases, vocabulary that the users would use themselves. Um, for example, you can say, let's choose a bank account, rather than saying, let's meet your needs, um, which sounds a bit corporate. Um, and use terms like size and price rather than form factor and price point. Use the language that they would use themselves. And when you're designing an app, I think it's really important for the designers to be experts in that product. Um, sometimes when you have a, a design team that's spread amongst lots of different functions, and you have a separate person for the business direction, and for the, the design of the page, for the visual design, um, and for the wording, you have like a, <clears throat> a technical writer for the wording. Sometimes the, the design direction uh, gets lost a little bit, and uh, I think it's important for all the designers, the whole team, to be experts in using the product to, to prevent that. And lastly, um, user research is really important. You can research the steps that users expect to take in an app um, to help you create your design, and after you've created one, you can use user research to check that a design is successful by talking with customers, bringing them in, um, having a user research team uh, do analysis on it. So that was it. Um, thank you very much and good luck.